What is up friends? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Taylor Lloyd. I am a business coach and strategist. I help online service providers create scalable, sustainable, successful businesses through systems and social media. So I know it's kind of a lot, but here we are. Today though, today we're going to be talking about a new professional social network okay by the name of polywork now you may have heard of this platform before but if you have not you need to get on the train because the train is moving okay um i want to talk to you guys a little bit about why i like it i also i'm going to be showing you guys my profile so you can see it firsthand as well as like kind of walking you through how to do a few things on the profile just in case you may want to which you do want to set one up for yourself okay so we're gonna just jump right in i have my phone here i have my click up pulled up for my notes so if i'm looking down or you see my phone i'm not gonna hide it i'm not gonna try to be like weird or sketchy i just i need notes y'all know my little adhd b bing 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 right so i gotta focus the only way i can stay focused when i have things to say is to use my notes so just let me do that okay so like i said polywork is a new professional social network so think like linkedin but then drizzle a little twitter in there that's kind of how the vibes are it's really 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 cool i like polywork the most because how i have my profile set up on linkedin versus how i have my profile set up on polywork are just totally different um on polywork it allows you to choose more than one label and i think that's super important especially now a lot of us are business professionals but we have multi-talents we're not just like a web developer or a designer or you know like we have multiple things that we're interested in or we have multiple things that we do inside of our businesses a lot of us entrepreneurs wear multiple hats so the fact that polywork lets you be recognized for multiple things you don't have to put yourself in a box that's like the most important thing that i just like I kind of am obsessed with about this platform i'm able to see and connect with so many other creatives and that's just sick so um that's the first thing i really really love about the platform you're also able because of the way that the platform is set up you're able to share your personal wins and your professional wins in one place so things like instagram for business you know like it you get to do you get to share it all um I'm going to show you guys my timeline in a second so I can explain my highlights, which, which is what they're called. I'll also explain like badges to you as well. But like the way you're able to share all of all of it in one place. Let's get into it. I'm going to hop on my computer over there. You see my computer back there. I'm going to hop on. I'm going to use my actual webcam so I can see y'all see me see y'all no so i can walk you through um my actual poly work and kind of explain more to y'all i will see you guys on the other side we are logged into the back end of poly work so this is what i see when i log in there i am in the corner um up here in the corner down here cool so when you log in you see feature people they are introducing a new feature called collections i haven't read up too much on it but i'm almost sure by this little blur collections are a way to organize your highlights into a group for people to easily view Boom. So I know what this means. This means if I wanted to put all of my brand partnerships in the highlight so people could see all the brands that I've worked with and partnered with, I could use collections for this, which I'm actually going to do. I'm going to do that because that's that's genius. That's smart. So there are badges here and badges are technically think of it like this. If you are a content creator, right? Then you would want to use a badge that says content creator on it. When you click said badge, you can see all of the other content creators. The cool thing about badges is you can have multiple ones. I think you can have up to 10 on like the front of your um, profile. So it's really cool. I'm just going to click the software engineering one so you can see. So when I click the software engineering badge, I can see all the people who also have this badge. Why I think that's such a cool feature is it makes it really easy for you to network with people who have similar interests. I um, mean, there are so many different badges. Even if I wanted to add software engineering to my profile, I could just click click add to profile and quickly add it to mine. Um, but you get to see like other people who have this badge, right? They share this badge and then you get to see their actual highlights and like see what they're up to. What are they currently doing? It takes social networking and professional networking to an entirely new level to me. Hello, it's me. I'm not vain. I promise. This is just the only like one of the only banners that I had already made. Just happened to have my face on it. So there's that. But here's mine. 
I'm tech. I'm a tech obsessed business coach. I've talked about this a lot. Y'all know I love tech and coding. So here, when you come to my profile, I have entrepreneur, business coach, front end developer, tech enthusiast, creative strategy, content strategy, black content creator, per um, PLC and tech period, women in tech period. Like I get to really kind of like not put myself in a little bitty box of just a business coach or just a front end developer. It's like. Hello, I'm all of these things, right? I tell you guys where I live, um, a little bit about what I do because there's a bio section. There's also links for your other social medias, which I like um, because it's like you get to see a piece of me here. But if you want more, you can come see me on YouTube. Hello, you can see me on Instagram or even TikTok. TikTok is really, um, it's really the free me. So, you know, if you, you're interested just come on to my TikTok. All of my highlights are on my timeline. So we'll keep going down. You can see I talked about getting my car, which maybe isn't so professional, but it definitely is tech based since it's a Tesla. This is my car, Tessa. If you guys are wondering, I love her very much. But I got to talk about that. Uh, talked about me being Coder Bay and Tech Bay and how like technology basically um, brought me here, brought me to this point. Um, and then my badges are, I got a car, I bought a car. <laughs> like the way badges are set up to just go with whatever, they kind of go with the flow. I just, I really love it. Um, even more so about building brand partnerships and like doing my partnerships with brands. You guys know I partner with um, brands that really mean something to me, that stand out to me, brands that I really love. And so I'm able to share my same partnerships over here on Polywork. This is my Logitech partnership where I get to kind of talk about um, being a black woman in this space and what it feels like, you know, and some of the things that I feel like we have disadvantages of. Logitech gave us the platform to really talk about that and share. And so I got to bring that over to Polywork too. And so my timeline literally is full of these like highlights in my life, essentially, um, and that's why they're called highlights. So if you scroll down, you can see I even have some from way back in the day. I think my first highlight is from 2014, where I actually started dabbling into entrepreneurship. So my entrepreneurship journey started there and I got to kind of like date that and just remember that, which is exciting. And I also got to document when I first started being a self-taught front end developer, um, which was in November 2018. It does not feel like it was that long ago, but it's like to think I've been in tech for like almost three years is, is really, is really cool. So boom, there's that. That's the highlight feature, which I really, really love. Um, like I said, up here, you have your own little like profile banner and you get to set up your profile however you see fit. You can edit your appearance here. You can change colors. You can change the banner here if you want. I'm going to leave mine there, but you can change it and customize it however you want. I saw um, a sneaker enthusiast and he had a bunch of like different sneakers on his banner. I don't know. I thought that was cool. Um, you can edit and add and take away badges because I have some um, badges that I kind of hid, but you can unhide them. You can move them around. Like let's just say I started going really hard in front end developing and I wanted to move that to the front, I could. So it's kind of like based on what you feel like is like your ladder, you know? And the first five will always display. And then obviously, like I said, you can open up and see the rest. So that's that. That's what the front end of my profile looks like. Um, let's create a highlight together just to kind of play with it. Let me think. What's going on in my life that's super important? Nothing. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I think I'm going to share my reel. Okay, so I'm going to go to highlight and I'm going to use this day, but I'm actually going to, uh, I'm just going to put it up today. It went up a couple days ago, but I won't put it up today. And I'm going to say sharing a little entrepreneur humor via reels. Let me know if you can Whoa. relate. And then I'm going to post it a reel. Okay, let's save that. And I'm going to let it rip. Once I post it, you can share it with your followers on Twitter too, which is nice. So if you are active on Twitter, I'm so so. Sometimes I'm on there, sometimes I'm not. So once I post my highlight, 
it goes up and now you guys can see my reel right here, which is really cute. If you haven't seen it on Instagram, it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, that's how highlights work. Obviously, this platform didn't exist in 2014, so I couldn't make that in 2014, but you can always backdate as far as you need to. If you remember something that happened that was pivotal in your career path or in your life in general, and you want to go back and kind of document it on your personal timeline to share that with people, you can totally do that. But also, okay, so there's like positions here and you can edit your current position, add a different one if you want to remove it. You know, you don't have to put something there. I don't have an end date for mine, but if I did, it would be right there. This is the space station. I'm gonna read this little update because we're always updating things. We love progressiveness. Um, we're excited to announce another huge update to Polywork. We designed space station to make it really easy to find people to collaborate with, whether you are hiring for full-time roles or looking for an investor. That's a big deal. Mentor or partner for a side project. Everyone has indicated they are open to be contacted. So have fun connecting. Like what? That's super cool. So when you come to the space station, let's just say you're a small business and you're looking for an investor. They literally give you a list of people open to investing in startups right here. This is a big deal to me. Okay. Um, as an entrepreneur or a serial entrepreneur, I understand now, I didn't understand back then, but I understand now the power of having an investor, especially if you have a really good, unique idea. And to be able to go on a platform and find investors at the click of a button, like what? This is huge. So they do have um, a list of investors here. You can also see like more like they have them here, but they also have so many other um, groups of people here that you can connect with. So they have people available for content creation. Let's say you're looking for people to create content for your business. Um, they have advisor roles, people who are able to beta test products. Like People are open to volunteering. So you can kind of get the vibes of what Space Station for is literally, a, it's like, front and center, allowing you to connect with the people that you want and need to connect with. Okay, so now we are in my opportunity preferences. If you wanna show up in the space station and you want to show up as someone who would like to advise companies, someone who would like to beta products, you're gonna do that in your opportunity preferences. Um, mine is here. I say I am open to receiving requests. And then once they request, this is my email to contact me at. So I leave that there. And then you're able to go through and kind of like check the boxes that fit for you. So I personally am open to advising companies, beta testing new products, brainstorming, content creation, freelance roles. Those are some of the things that I'm into. I really want to do mentoring. As soon as I get a little more time on my hands, I absolutely will. Um, but partnering on side projects. So you can always come in and adjust and change them. Um, if you want to speak on Clubhouse, you can speak on podcasts. I have speaking at events and speaking on podcasts because I'm really wanting to dabble into that starting next year for sure. Okay, so now we're back to the multiverse is where we started off of, and I was telling you about feature people in the training badges. Um, here's your like area where you can see what other people are doing, which is kind of like the timeline aspect. Basically, you can scroll through and see like what's going on with other people as well. Also, the possibility section over here. So see, now I'm over here and it says a tech obsessed business coach is open to speaking at events advising companies speaking on pod podcasts and more and i can also see other people who in what they're open to doing it also shows people who recently joined the platform so if you're just looking to kind of like connect and follow and find new people you can um you can do it that way again you can also connect with people using the badges which I think badges are probably my favorite. That's pretty much the back end of my poly work. Again, I wanted to kind of like walk y'all through and show y'all where I am with the platform. I still need to find and follow more people. So please jump on and follow me so I can follow y'all back. So I'm able to connect with you guys here on this platform as well. I am looking forward to it. Um, and yeah, we're gonna hop back in the chair and I'm gonna close out this video, okay? So switching back to our old position. Okay, bye. Okay, friends, so you've seen my whole profile. I was able to walk you through and kind of explain why I use it and how I use it. If you think 
Hollywood is a good fit for you, which if you're in any kind of professional business at all, um, also I'll have all the links to wherever you need to be linked down there as well. And let me know in the comments if you've used Polywork before, if it's new for you, if you're enjoying it, you're already on there. If you're on there, you gotta definitely follow me so I can follow you back. Um, but yeah, so let me know how you guys are liking it. Let me know how you like this video. If you guys have any other questions, I will be more than happy to answer them down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.